hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, tilt shift like effect that blurs out uh, in the edges closer to the edges of the screen uh, for this strategy game so here as you can see it's not exactly based on the distance from the camera but it's more like a, it's a, actually a post process material so as you can see here it's always uh, sharp on the middle of the screen and as it goes to the edges closer to the edges it's blurred out like this this regardless of the distance so yeah that's what we are going to implement today so let me show you the demonstration again let me work this character so see now these guys are blurred out all right so let's see how to implement this today uh, here is the material instance that we are going to implement so here we can fine tune this blur strength so if i make it zero there is no blur at all one it's like this two it's more blur i'll keep it at one and we can change the offset so what this does is uh, it changes how close the blur effect goes to the edge if i make it plus one blur is pushed almost away from the screen as i reduce it it come closer to the center of the screen so when i keep it closer to zero we only have somewhat this area only blurred and before we jump into the tutorial i'd like to remind you that all these project files all of the tutorials that i have done uh, available to download in my patreon page i'll leave the link in description below so not just this project there are over 1600 videos in my channel to the date and you can download the project files of all of them without any limit for the membership right let's get back to the tutorial okay so the first step is creating a post process material I'll create a new folder under materials pmax post process stands for post process materials and material m p p blur okay open it so we need to change the material domain to post process now here uh, in order to use in order to implement a post process material we need to get scene texture post process simple so scene texture here select post process simple if i directly connect this like this you just get the whatever the uh, rendered image from the buffer now to implement blur effect we need a custom node so this is here we can add a code that uh, that is essentially a custom material expression uh, which process the given data and here we can write some code um, so actually I didn't come up with this I found this code in here when I just Google how to do a blur so this is exactly what I have copied so I leave a link in the description below so if you just copy this here and paste you're gonna get the code so he from this I don't really need any of these things so let me just delete them we only need this part so here now you when you select it you can see the code so here here you have here you can see 
this UV input and the scene texture input and the blur strength input is defined and they are used in this code okay so this one and this one is same so let me just delete that and this is the custom node I created we don't need it that I only showed you just to show how to create that now if I connect this we get an error because we haven't defined blur strength so if I promote this to a variable that's why we can scalar parameter I'll call it plus train plus strength and I'll keep it at one now you see the scene became blurred if I make it two it even more blurred point one less blurred you get the point I'll keep at 1.5 okay now as I said uh, wait let's apply this here we already have a post process volume which is an infinite or unbound volume so when I apply something here it will be applied to the whole world here under post process materials I'll add a new post process material so before I add that I'll create a material instance so that we can customize these values easily okay now if I add it here now you see the whole scene is blurred but we only need to blur the edges and keep them center sharp so for that I'm gonna create a material like this so this is basically let me delete this it's just a black image and I have selected the middle center it like this and feather it like 20 pixels and in I make it add a layer mask so this is pretty small so you get the idea so earlier I had a little bit one so yeah so something like that that's what you need so you can save it to the disk and import so now this is what you get okay so blur mask oh it should be blur mask not blue okay now add it here and then uh, create a linear interpolate node and the other output a output uh, a input should be this blurred texture and the b input is non blurred texture and if i connect this alpha value of this texture here it will be lurking in between these two textures using the alpha value if i connect here now you see the edges are blurred but the center is sharp okay so if you want to um, manipulate the boundary you can add an offset i'll promote this to a parameter let's call it offset and i'll set the slider min to minus one max to plus one and clamp this in between zero and one so that when I connect this to alpha, if I get a value like 2 or minus 2, it wouldn't give any odd results because the values are clamped. Now, as you can see, when I keep the offset as 0, it's this is the neutral range. If I make it 0.1, now you we'll see it increases the sharp area. If I make it minus 0.1, it decreases the sharp area. 
so you get the idea right now here now you see we almost have our effect well actually we have our effect you can see the edges are blurred center is sharp and that's exactly what we needed to implement here is our game by the way here i have used the strategy template that i have created some time ago so because i felt like for a game like this it would be useful to have a effect like this maybe not necessarily for a strategy game something like a top-down game but yeah you i just wanted to demonstrate this effect okay so that's all for today so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download impression page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye